Update 1.6 has arrived. With it, you'll find a slew of UI, UX, and performance improvements. Let's dive in. The Start Diplomatic Play pop-up has gotten an overhaul that should make it easier to get an idea of exactly how likely any country is to side with or against you. Country tooltips have gotten a complete rework to include better and contextual information. The country's detail panel has also been cleaned up a little bit to allow a more quick reference for important information. The diplomatic lens has been updated to now show ongoing packs, attitudes, relations, and rate of change. And diplomatic packs will now clearly state why they are breaking. The right side of your screen will now look a little different. Behold, the tabbed outliner. Customize it as you see fit to quickly reference the information most important to you. Additionally, the notifications are now color-coded. Moving on, the POP browser has been renamed Census Data and is found here. Rich in pie charty goodness, you'll be able to delve down into your POPs and find out exactly who's being a problem child. Sort by profession, or by location, or any number of different options to find the information you are looking for. Your scroll position is now saved between panels when moving back and forth, Input good shortages are collected on a state-by-state -state level, and an Upgrade All button has been added to your military tab to reduce clicks. Qualification notifications have seen a significant update in 1.6 over 1.5, whereas in 1.5 qualifications took all qualifications into account, even if it was a significant downgrade. For example, a capitalist may be qualified to be a farmer, but chances are they won't take that leap. In 1.6, we now have something called employable qualifications, which is qualifications held by a pop that are reasonably able to take that job. Which means when you get a warning that there are not enough qualifications to fill a building, that warning can be reasonably trusted, and it'll be easier to find which professions are a bottleneck in your efforts. The construction interface has a new tab. Clicking between condensed and full will show you more detailed information about the construction capabilities and productivity in your states. The transfer units panel has gotten an update with the addition of the all and half buttons, allowing you to merge and split units easily. Additionally, you can sort your units by the state they come from. In case a particular state is low on manpower and you would like to send an army home for rest. The holy grail of Tooltip UX, which we call Tables and Tooltips, will be implemented in a limited form in 1.6. You'll only be able to find it in two places right now, but you will be seeing it more in the future. It allows us to display information with more clarity. Formations close to each other on the map will now stack into one box. Hovering or clicking on that box will then show further details. And you'll be able to find your infamy located in the top bar. The migration system tested in the 1.5 open beta is now officially implemented in the base game as of 1.6. The goal of the new system is to increase mid and late game performance by reducing the fragmentation of pops as the game progresses. An existing population in a given area will serve as a cultural community, serving as a lure to draw like-minded people to that area in future migrations. Additionally, the game will prioritize moving small, whole populations and merging them together before splitting larger ones during migrations. Information about migration is now easier to visualize, as it is displayed on a weekly rather than an annual basis. You will also be able to find several new map modes to show you information about migration. A number of fixes have been implemented into 1.6. For example, alliances will no longer break just because you can't call your allies into war. Frontline behavior and formation pathfinding has also seen an improvement. You can now station your formations in subject and allied HQs during wars and diplomatic plays. AI formation management has been improved to help fully cover fronts. The renowned Playwright event now expires after five years, so no more stacking infinite prestige throughout the entire game. There's also been a number of fixes related to crashes, multiplayer stability, and out-of-sync issues. That's going to be it for all of the changes in 1.6. You'll be able to find all the juicy information listed in detail in the doobly-doo down below.